morning. And if I've done my calculations right, welcome to the final, it's not even a full week, the final couple of days of the daily edit. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all okay. I hope you all had a good weekend. Um, just for a bit of like how the sausage is made behind the scenes trivia. We normally work on these videos sort of five to seven days in advance. You know me. I love a schedule, I love the ability to plan and you just never know what's gonna happen. I could get unwell or not feel great, Mark could be unwell. So it was always good just to have like a couple of videos in the bag, just in case, just, you know, life happens. So on the day that I'm filming this, it is the day after Lily announced that she was pregnant. So now everyone knows, no more secrets. Lily and I are both having baby boys this year, which is just, crazy. I'm so excited. I can't think about it too much or else I'll probably cry. It's been so lovely to go through this like major <laughs> life moment, not only with one of my best friends, but also someone who's gone through it before. She's been so helpful, full of so much advice. And yeah, it's been really, really fun to be on this journey together. I'm so, so excited. Just what a great moment. So that's why I'm a little behind. I've had comments being like, oh my God, like Lily's pregnant as well. You're both having babies. And I'm like, yeah, I know. But obviously at the time of recording those previous videos that you've seen, you guys didn't know, but now you know. Very, very exciting news. I feel, I feel like this is a very dangerous <laughs> thing to do, to be putting on quite an orangey base, I'm not gonna lie. With a fresh, brand new white shirt on. What am I thinking? So just a little, weekend catch up for you. Mark and I had the chillest weekend we have had in what feels like months and it was so nice. It was so lovely not to really do anything, not to have any big major plans. Mark did some gardening, he did some redecorating of the nursery, we're still working on that. And I just sat basically there in bed and read my like pregnancy baby books and it was just really lovely and so chill and I feel properly refreshed which is good because we have quite a busy little week this week. It's our final week of shooting these videos. I think I've got four left to shoot. I'm going to shoot two today so I've only got two more left to do which is crazy. I feel like the daily edit has gone <laughs> so quickly and then next week which I think is when you'll be seeing this video, is, is our week off, is our week off, um, which I'm very much looking forward to. We've realised we haven't taken a week off since Christmas. I'm sure loads of you probably haven't either, like time just sort of got away with us a bit there, so it's going to be really nice to chill. But the plan for today, I'm currently getting ready to shoot a top 10 summer investments video because I realized that I'd done a top 10 winter investments video and not done the summer version. So I'm gonna shoot that this morning. You will see that maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. It's coming soon for you. Maybe you've seen it already. <laughs> and then we have a lovely little afternoon planned. Um, I actually did my friend's wedding makeup for her a couple of weeks ago. Bless my friends for trusting me with such. <laughs> such like a big part of their wedding day. It's very, very sweet. I'm definitely no professional, but if someone wants like a dewy base with a slightly browny eye, that is, that's my repertoire. That's all I can do. And as a thank you gift, she got me a voucher for um, an afternoon tea for two at this local, very fancy hotel. I've never been there before. It's called um, South Lodge. If you're in Sussex, you've probably heard of it before. Um, it's just, it sounds so nice. It's like a spa. They do a lovely afternoon tea. And so, yeah, I'm really, I'm really, really looking forward to that. It was one of those things, you know, when you get a gift voucher and I was like, we're just going to book it for some time soon because otherwise it'd be one of those things that you're like, oh, that's so lovely. I need to remember to book it. I need to remember to book it. And then it just expires. And then you feel like the world's worst person. <laughs> so we're going to have a little afternoon tea for two, which is going to be so cute. I'm not sure if Mark and I have ever been for an afternoon tea, the two of us. Babes, have we ever been for an afternoon tea for two? Me, like me and you? No, I don't think we have either. There you go. It's going to be our first time. Now I've lost my eyelash curlers. I'm just going to finish getting ready and then we will shoot and then we will head out for some afternoon tea. The weather is so gross, guys. <laughs> It's so horrible. It's the rainiest Monday morning. It's it's like, it's the 21st of June when I'm recording this. 
Monday is our laundry day, so what I could wear was very um, low on the ground. So <laughs> I'll give you an outfit of the day. Not my most inspired. Everything was in the wash. I wanted to look like a little bit fancy as well, so I will show you that. Mark is setting up the camera. All of our <laughs> washing is <laughs> up. <laughs> Behind the scenes. And I'm just plunked. I'm plunked down. I'm ready to shoot. Normally with this kind of video, I would want to do some kind of like outfit cutaway, some like styling ideas um, but so many of these top 10 favorites are sadly not maternity friendly and i would love to squeeze into them right now but i can't so i think we're just going to do some photos up on the screen which means i get to just sit i just get to sit on my spinny round chair kind of into that this was the final setup we ended up moving <laughs> moving the rubber tree like we always do it's so heavy now mark has to like drag it across the floor we went for a little artificial light because it is so dark in here today we had the old mic set up. There you go. We are done. Actually, here's a quick little outfit of the day for you. Arquette oversized cotton poplin shirt, Lululemon leggings, Arquette loafers on the bottom because it is still raining cats and dogs outside. So yeah, not my most inspired outfit because anything that I want to wear is uh, on one of these basically. But we're good, we're okay. Chip, chip, chop in the <laughs> June showers. In my head I was like, oh, I'll book it for like a couple of weeks time. We can have this lovely, you know, sunny, maybe we'll sit outside. <laughs> it's so cold and rainy. But, this, you know, I said I think this place is quite fancy. Ooh, oh, this yeah. place does look very fancy. Thank you very much to our friend for buying us this gift voucher. Like, this so is lovely. insane. Look at this. doggy bag Look and this isn't that. for me either this is for you <laughs> one of the screens is for you uh, oh yeah, it is, yeah I guess. how full are you on a scale of oh, one full, full one to full full very full look at that wow <laughs> my belly is now about four times the size that it was <laughs> on the way here on the way here we were both like oh my word so hungry and now we are both so full See, Mark hadn't done the afternoon tea before and it's all about pacing yourself. And we had double the amount of sandwiches. Now I'm not sure that was such a good idea. Like I can barely, I can barely talk because of my indigestion. Ooh. But it was delicious. A very good afternoon tea. Would recommend, although if you want one that's more like in Brighton, the afternoon tea at the Grand is so good. I've taken my mum there. I've taken my grandma there. Maybe we'll have to go there just so you can compare. Um, but yeah, this is a nice little one if you don't mind a little countryside drive. And now we head home. Welcome to the British summertime. I was gonna sing, summer, summer, summertime. <laughs> I am too full to function. Someone put that on a t-shirt and I'll buy it. I'm not even joking. I actually am too full to function. The acid reflux, the indigestion, like, yeah, I'm ready. The thing is, is I'm not ready to lie down because that makes it worse. I'm ready to lie on my side and be burped like a baby. I thought I would share with you my evening skincare routine. Is it like just gone five? Yes. I don't normally do my evening skincare routine at five o'clock, but um, yeah. So I get things moving with the uh, the face halo, which is probably very orange. So I'm just gonna hide it. As grim as the rain is, the thought of having like a snuggly night watching the final episode of The Sewing Bee, which I still need to catch up on, I am mad about it. I've been surprising myself recently because I haven't been using the Kills Centella cleanser. I ran out, I've repurchased another one. You would have seen that in the Brighton vlog that I put up, but I had this hanging around, the Emma Hardy Moringa cleansing balm. A blast from the past. I'm about halfway through it. I'm very liberal with it, despite the fact you really don't need to be. A little goes a very long way, 
but actually I've really been enjoying it and I think it's really nice to do like a first cleanse with just to break down makeup break down any like SPF you've got on your skin. I've been doing my first cleanse with it and then taking it off with a flannel and then using a little bit more and kind of using it as a, um, like a guasa lubricant. And it's just really lush. It's a lovely, lovely product. It's been years since I used this. I used this back when we lived in London. So that was like six years ago now, but it feels so nice and it's just got that slip to it. So you can really like work it in around the jawbone. Or in my case, your non-existent jawbone. It means I can really like get my fists in there and try and relieve some tension. What a good look. The blood is flowing, but in a good way. So if I could be bothered, I'd do a guasa moment. Um, I definitely have shown that in a video or a vlog somewhere. I'll link that up in the corner for you. Now this looks like the Josh Rosebrook, but it's actually the Allies of Skin spray. I love the spray of the Josh Rosebrook bottle, so I put the Allies of Skin in the Josh Rosebrook bottle, um, but I think the Allies of Skin is just a denser product, so instead I just take three sprays into my hand and then sort of apply it like an essence. It's more of a treatment than it is a general relaxing spray. So I just sort of press that in all over. I'm obsessed with the, the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream. I just take a decent amount of that underneath the eyes and then it wouldn't be the evening if I didn't use the allies of skin a promise a keeper blemish sleeping facial I take three pumps concentrate it more on my chin although I have to say my skin is just having a good moment it was getting a little bit congested more at the start of the month but throughout the month, I've really pared back on the evening routine. My morning routine is still quite serum heavy, obviously like using SPF, all that kind of stuff. But the evening, we're keeping it simple. And I think that's really helped. Bit of the um, Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm, which will never end. Like, look at it. It is still going. And that is the finished skin. I mean, it's a little bit pink. It's fine. We don't mind that. It's just the blood flowing. Um, but yeah, my evening skincare routine done at it's quarter past five <laughs> hey that is the final trimester for you i'm very much looking forward to being burped <laughs> and just chilling out for the evening quite frankly um, but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this daily edit i'll be back tomorrow for a brand new one and i will see you then thanks for watching bye